Hi everybody, Mrs. Wenzel here. It's so good to see you. Let's start with our high five or our hug or our hustle for today's video. And you may be guessing that today we're going to be doing a little bit of time traveling. In fact, we're going to go back first 540 million years ago. And I want to talk to you about a trilobite. Trilobites are animals that lived, like I said, 540 million years ago here in Pennsylvania and other places all over the world. They lived in shallow seas and yes, Pennsylvania used to be a shallow sea where all of these animals could live. And today, uh, there is a relative of the trilobite still living and that's the horseshoe crab. Now let's go back even further, 570 million years ago. Something that was alive was called a crinoid. And today they are, we think that they're related to sea lilies, but you can see here on this fossil, which yes, I did find in Pennsylvania, you can see evidence that this was a shallow sea. This is a crinoid stem, and that one's a crinoid stem, and you can see some other sea evidence here, like little shells. And these crinoids lived all over the place. In fact, if you do a little research about something called St. Cuthbert's beads, uh, that was remnants of crinoids, fossils of crinoids, that were made into rosaries, according to legend, by St. Cuthbert. It's really very cool. Now, down below today, I'm just going to link a couple of things. Uh, first is going to be a link to a field guide of common fossils of Pennsylvania, and the second is going to be a link to the Montour Preserve Fossil Pit. It's a place where you can go and hunt for fossils here in Pennsylvania. It's only about two and a half hours from Coatesville, and if you like Knobles Amusement Park, it's just past there, just north of Knobles. Awesome. I'll see you guys back tomorrow to talk more about dinosaurs. Remember, God loves you. So do I. Be a nice human.